Hello YouTube, Steve Road Truck here. Yeah, we're recording, just double checking. She's been up to some funny stuff of late. Yep, we are recording. Yeah, she's frozen once or twice, or we set herself like now. <laughs> but never mind. All good. It's going to be another daily vlog today. Today is Friday the 12th of the 4th. April. <laughs> Should know. So, a month after next month, I'm off on holiday. Can't wait. I've had a good weekend motorbiking, or one day motorbiking because of the weather. Yeah, so I didn't film yesterday because it's typical, you know, we'll start the week, you know, it's a bit hectic as well. There was a lot of motorway transit, there'll be a lot of motorway transit today to be honest, but like now, I thought there'd be some quite interesting driving as well coming up. Because we've just loaded around. Uh, right where we are, the Norfolk sort of area. Um, Round by a place just north of Eli, if if you know where that is. If you're typing Eli, you think it's E E L Y. It's getting it on my map. Yeah, E L Y, Eli. I'm probably completely murdering the name. We need to find some fuel on route as well. Let's try to find that UK fuel site. So I should have done it while I've been past the site yesterday, but I'll try and make time up to or do it a bit later. Which was still over half a tank of fuel, so it's not a major concern this second. But we will need to grab some fuel at some point today. We probably could get over to where we go and get tipped and loaded maybe get to one well, of the decent fuel spots or work it out before I put the gaff up and let them know the ETA because I was meant to get loaded last night but that was a thing to happen not for the life of me because I would only got there 30 minutes of working time to spare bear in mind it took me to smidge over an hour to get loaded today you're not a chance you're not allowed to park up there either so yeah so we've got a load of raffinate on at the moment. Which is a bit like a sugary sort of syrupy mix. Roughly, how I understand it. <laughs> Just be careful how the bends it is one of the proactive loads that can catch you out if you get a bit carried away. So if you're wondering why I'm driving a bit cautiously, that's why. <laughs> so we'll probably be over at the customer at the current rate. Probably in the region of 12 o'clock, I'm thinking, because I've got to do a 45 minute break. Well, 30 minute break, so I'm 15 minutes there. But potentially I'll say 45 for argument's sake fuel up so it's going to be at 10-15 minutes so yeah about 12 o'clock I reckon as long as we don't get caught up well I'm tempting fate here because there's lots of opportunities to get caught up in hellish traffic today that's the exciting bit <laughs> what we're doing now if we're going to try it's all dual carriage and motorways then because we're going over to Avermouth which is Bristol Way, if you're not overly familiar. Right, Bristol, pretty much is Bristol, for argument's sake. Luckily, we're gonna be tipping and loading at the same place, so it's not such a biggie when we get there, because we'll just get tips, get our next job. get on the back on the point and over it loaded again. Yeah, and no, I'm sorry I haven't done too much vlogs of late. You know, I've been really busy at home at the moment. It's been a bit 
as you probably gather, a bit all over the place. I said we got a property we're selling, so I might do a lot of legal stuff for that, and we've got to organise moving the stuff out there uh, flat this coming weekend, and you know, I had family, family member visiting this weekend as well. It wasn't a biggie, it was only for the evening, but you know, and also with doing the bike as well. You know, it's all been been to the go. So I managed to get the one video out this weekend. I think I've done well, I mean two the other week, but at least I'm meeting my minimum requirement. <laughs> but I do apologise now. But I can only do what I can do, you know, life does come first at the end of the day. So if I've got jobs that need to get done, those need to get done. That's how I've tried, as I said, I always aim to get one video out. And also, I must say, last week, I did do a bit of recording, but I wasn't on the ball, if you know what I mean. It was one of those weeks, I was like, uh, not, not overly in the flow of things. So I thought I'll film this anyway today because I thought this would be reasonably entertaining for you. If I film for another few more minutes or so, then we'll see how things go. Yeah, another thing I've been thinking about. Hang on, hang on a bit. Bounce from Worcester to Nexon because of it. You know, one thing I was thinking about doing, not at the moment. But maybe in the future I'll go out motorbiking is to do a bit of filming when I go motorbiking. I know my channel isn't about motorbiking. I, I fully respect that, but you know, just maybe to bring you along on my days off, you know, if I'm out biking. I still need to sort out the vid vi video footage and the photos that I had from my last uh, sky trip last year as well. So I need to sit down. I've been meaning to do that for quite a long time, but so much footage from that trip and photos I think that's the reason why I'm like oh no um, I should have done it when I got back because then I was all reasonably familiar with what was in order but it needs to be done so I need to get cracking with it sometime so it's not going to be motorbike tours as well. I'll probably go and do a few small ones this year but nothing you know incredible this year. Next year though, I'm considering going maybe to Italy. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see how things go. Or something like that. Yards. Cross the Second exit. And da, 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 I'm also considering upgrading my bike as well either this year or next year. Not before my Florida trip though, it'll be after realistically if I do do it as well so I've got that to look forward to as well a lot on this year but that's something that can be fitted in in between stuff it's all about budgeting really if I could go into there I might try the other one actually because that seems to be more round heavy round goods round friendly exit. if we go past that one his phone. <laughs> you still see it, even near the truckers, it's bad. It's shocking what some drivers do, no matter what you're driving. See car drivers do, no, it's very, I wouldn't say it's rare to catch a trucker doing it, but you're less likely to overall. Oh, you know, not as common as seeing a car driver. I'm going to swap that cable out, so I've got a new ABS cable to try and fix that thing, I haven't replaced it yet. So I need to do that sometime today as well. So I should have done that last night, but I wasn't in the mood. Pretty cool where I parked up does. I think it's the sister lay by to... is it this one? 
bring it back across. After That's what I mean, the low little shift here across if second exit. You take the ball off the mark, now it's uh, further down. Yeah, it's like a business retail park further down. And there's a lay-by right beside it. Quite a decent one as well. Cross the roundabout. And you can literally exit. sort of stroll in there. So I'll just treated myself to a KFC last night because I was just not in the mood to cook. After, well, I end up being a 14 hour shift. I'll pinch just about bang on 14 hours by a couple of minutes. I probably should have gone further up the road actually, with hindsight. But it is what it is. We are now 10 minutes. We'll play the hash over to time lapse any minute now. The only clean my mirrors as well, but okay, okay for now. The sunlight coming in to make it look a bit dirty. Yeah, so a lot on, a lot of stuff in the plans and in the works. I'll try not to overload myself too much though. There is a lot on, and I'm, um, you know, not feeling the pressure, but you know, there's a lot of things I've got to keep an eye on, and you know, prep for, so like the holiday. You know, I'm saving hard for that. Got over a grand in the bank already now. And I have another grand on my next pay thing, then I get paid the day after I fly as well. So that should all be good. I think the idea is also if I do end up getting this bike and looking at it, so I have a BMW RT 1200 and look at getting a gold ring. Which I know some people are laughing at me, that's not a bike, it's more like a car. Well, yes and no at the same time. But for my type of riding, it suits my type of riding. You know, I'm a bit laid back out wide. Not saying I don't open the taps up, but. You know, I don't see the point going absolutely mental all the time and it's just not worth it at the end of the day. You know, you're just going to do something silly at that way, in my book. I'd much rather enjoy the ride than be uh, coming off the bike in the nervous sweat because I've been living life at the edge. I understand why people like that as well, but, you know, I'm a bit, I suppose it's because I've seen some nasty stuff you know, I'm not denying I've done anything silly on the motorbike in the past. No, I've done the odd when I was younger and silly stuff on the motorbike, you know. And it's from that sort of life experience as well. I've done that already, you know. It's not worth, then, you know, from life experiences, you start to realise, actually, it's not worth doing that. Especially these days, you know. Only speed cameras are out there now. It's just not worth it. Yeah, but yeah, so I might, I mean, I might go to Land's End this year, which I'm thinking about actually doing in a few weeks' time if the weather's good. Is to go out more on my weekends. And just I'll drive there or ride there one day and I'll ride back the other day. And I'll just stay at BMB or maybe camping. We'll see. We'll see. I'll catch you ag again in a little bit. So, yeah, I'll catch you in a little bit because I've been nutting on the, for about 15 minutes now. See you in a minute. Making me crazy, making me crazy. So 
but to be honest, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would have been around certain, certain areas where it's known to be really bad. Actually, it's probably seeing it on a different way, but actually, it's not been seen bad. But that's probably just as quick as going the other way. Yeah, so I've been having quite a lot of heavy goods, about three heavy goods vehicles so far. That wasn't too bad, that one, but I had about two or three that very nearly went into my, uh, my truck unit, even though I had reduced speed for them pulling back in and I had not flashed them in by the way or anything like that. I did, it was two containers that did it and another on the curtain side I tried it on. Uh, I know well, I suppose every reason to rush today because it's Friday. You know. I've got a funny thing it's, it's Easter this weekend isn't it? Now, which means this afternoon it's going to be hellish I bet we have to see you know it's like fast me and I always check I don't trust not that I don't trust the driver Fully, it's more of a case of if I don't check, he could have missed something or not understood something in my vehicle, or you know, if he missed something, it'd be my fault anyway. That's no reason why you must check anyway. Don't take for granted, no matter how well you know that he other heavy goods vehicle, we could make a mistake, but it is nice to be flashed in though, because it gives you sort of go ahead, yep, you're clear. Then you check, then you go. Because it just makes that life a little bit more easier as a parting driver. So if being overtaken, reduce speed by either by one mile power, one sec down on the cruise control, and then once I passed, flash him in, then resume the where I was on the cruise. Everything should be good, but you do overtake some drivers who, you know, who don't really do anything to help you out. They do almost the opposite. If they can overspeed, they'll overspeed at natural speed if needs be. And it gets that awkward with some some drivers, and this is with professional drivers. And no offence, anything smaller than a truck, and on on. Not having a UPS guy here, he's just a perfect example. I let them crack on at the end of the day, you know, because they're far more maneuverable than I am. <laughs> Even though, yeah, it doesn't understand braking distances, but never mind. Just back off a little bit. We're going down the hill, that's why we match speed. Fully uh, laden as well. So there's going to be a little bit over on, as I call it. Oh, it does have a specific name. Yeah, so, I mean, it is what it is. This is, uh, you know, it's what I used to do all the time, long distance stuff, which I kind of do more enjoy in a way. But, you know, it's nice to have a change, and, you know, this is a change to me to go and do this. This sort of thing, long run, four and a half hours, five hour journey, you know. Then we've got to get set to get reloaded and hopefully go and make a delivery. Just my sixth sense is just going off going. It might be doable, but it's going to be tight. I don't know if I've been to that farm before either. I don't think I have, but might not be the farm. Hopefully, it might. The only other place I'm thinking it could be, it could be a Mole Valley place that I've been down there. I don't think we'll find out. Nevertheless, I've got the job for my BDA system, so I can't work out. I've only just been told by the boss, roughly where I'm going. <laughs> it's like you're down to Lifton. 
look at the map and see where Lifton was. I thought it was around there. So I hope you had the mods, but when we get to be honest, that's quite a nice one. Did enjoy doing that. I do like going down down that way. You know, I do sort of live in the southwest, you know. You know, southwest one of my favourite places in the country, but you know, I would say my favourite place in the country. I mean the only place I really and no offence anybody who lives in the southeast or around well, not southeast necessarily, but London, just south. <laughs> In other words, not the whole south, just central bit. <laughs> That's why I find an option, I'll move further west, ideally. Sorry about that. Start crunching up the last remainder bit of my Oh dear. That just doesn't look good. videos up, see what it's like. The thing is I don't do it as often as I would like to do it. You know, and that's the main issue why I don't have done logging on the bike as such, but I would like to do the odd wide. Tell me your thoughts, is it something you'd be interested in maybe seeing? You know, oh, I'm half tempted to give it a go. Because I've got the rough set up already, you know, I just need, the only requirement is the weather has to be nice. Because uh, if you want me to have a chat while riding, the cable needs to be on the open side of the camera, which is fine. You know, it's dry and it's not wet or anything like that, but uh, I suppose I could modify it a wee bit. But we'll see, you know, there's stuff I have to work around with it anyway, play around if we do it. There's all the stuff I'm in theory I can do it, without any question. As I didn't have my uh, communication device on charge, I'll do that when I get home. It doesn't take long to charge up anyway. I think I'll only be able to get one day anyway. On the bike this weekend, for half a day, should I say. Need to give it a wash show this weekend though, because it's. Uh, I mean, I do wash her a lot, but she is effectively a bit like my baby, aside from the truck. So it's motorbiking season. Yes, I'm sorry I'm really psyched up about motorbiking in this vlog. It's just because I said, start the season, I'm glad I'm back out riding. You know, I actually regret not being out earlier this year. I just haven't been in, in the mood as such to do it. Or I've been way too busy. We even need to go right. I had sat now said go right, I always check. Yeah. And so I do apologise, I have talked a lot about motorbiking. I know my channel isn't about motorbiking. I know. 
I know they're all about YouTube that you should go there off, but you know, it's a bit of fun to add in. You never know, it might have a bit of interest, I do not know. Because then, you know, as I'm planning on next few years to do some big tours after this year. I'd say I'm thinking a few weeks' time of going to Land's End on a day or two. Which actually, that might be the one I record bits of. Depending on what the weather's doing, though, obviously. Right. If we can get myself into a cheapish BB, not that I'm tired of money, it's a sub. Keep it cheap, but fun. You know, as long as this place has got a bed, and, you know that'd be fine. Night. Yeah. So there's a lot. I say there's a lot of plans up for We got Truck Fest at four two, which I'm psyched about. But I say a lot before Truck Fest. <laughs> I've also got a reunion this year as well to go to, which I still need to put the days, yeah. Which is in August. Part of me, I really want to go to this reunion, but at the same time, because I've got so much on this, it's tough. That would be a bit hard for me, it's half tempted to go, actually, you know, could I manage that feasibly? You know, because there's a lot of time off already. I know I've got the days and I could do it. But we'll see. I am aiming to go though. Just while I look at what I've got, so it's a bit like next month. I need to make sure I get all the MOTs done on the bike and car. This weekend, I also need to send off my driving license. And on and on and on. <laughs> you know, so fun and games. Let's all go. As I said, after the holiday, I could be looking at getting a not another bike as such, my current bike I would aim to probably sell or trade in. I've got no one two bikes, can't really afford to do that at all. Not feasible, I could afford to do it, but it'd be a bit mental. It wouldn't make much sense, you can't buy two bikes at once, as I would say. I don't mind it off the fact that I could end up with two bikes, as I haven't toyed with the idea of getting a, a 125 small little bike thing but the thing that turns me off from doing it is the same thing that I can't buy two bikes at the same time I might as well enjoy my main bike at the end of the day so whatever it is if it's my BMW or if I do go gold ring just enjoy it just you know, if you just go half the bike go and take out half the bike you know yeah that's how I do apologise if I'm nattered on about biking but I'm trying to wind it down now what are we up to now? Well, 15 minutes of me nattering on. All talking about biking. I do apologise. I might make this an Uber vlog, probably. A bit of an Uber one. Long one, an hour and a half one. Well, I reckon what's going to happen, I'm going to do this sequence, I'll do another time lapse either before, well, probably after we've tipped and loaded. We'll see how things go. You know, because there's lots of things that could happen, and you know, <laughs> it's a bit hard to think about at the moment. The only thing I really think about is get cracking, just get on with it. <laughs> just, you know, it's a busy first two days. It's nice to be busy, but sometimes you think, when is it going to slow down just a smidge? Just, you know, slow it down a smidge. Uh, you probably guess what type of driver that is, I'm not saying it all old people are so, but <laughs> I'm sorry. So if you are old you do watch my vlogs, I'm not <laughs> crawling along the motorway like that isn't the best of ideas. He's making good progress, no reason for us to back off. Flash him in though, once he's passed safely. There we go. Flash him in. 
crash in, if you can see. Okay. Now he's on. <laughs> fun and games, fun and games. Yeah, it's a glorious day though today. It's cold, well, it's been cold most days. It's only about 8 Celsius, so it's now 10 30. I suppose it's not too bad now, to be honest. But earlier it was like minus 1. <laughs> Especially after having that heat wave the other week, it's a bit odd at the moment. We seem to be going for a heat wave, then a cold snap. Oh, I bet we go to another heat wave and buy them a cold snap. <laughs> Knowing how the weather is on this Benton Island. Nah, it's all good. No dramas. I said we're still very early spring, really, at the moment. I think last year it snowed around now, or just before now. You know, the Iowa week a few weeks ago or so last year, and snowed if I recall correctly. So, we're not going to be pulling into any other services, we'll just go straight to the port now. So, we've had a break, we'll have a break at the port somewhere. I might go away doing a split break between one at the first customer and I'll go out to port and we have another break in there. So once I'm loaded, or after we've loaded, once I've had the break, we're all good to go. Smash it, as it would say.
the back. I have that time lapse she just caught us uh, on the way down to our delivery where we just delivered. Yes, you might see who we delivered to. I'll try not to show you the side too much. I'm covering the camera. All clear to pull out. You might catch it. Yeah, you probably have caught it. I'll edit it out. All right. Hello, everybody. Steve O'Trucker here again. We've just made our delivery and the time that you just saw there was us on the way down to make a delivery going through some epic countryside. I've cut it off just further down here the video the time lapse if I use that. Cheers, thank you very much. Yeah it's been a bit busy on the way down. Not too bad though. Could have been way worse. Take it steady through this village. Yeah, so delivered a load of molasses and we're going up to Swindon now, <laughs> all the way from. Uh, I did have the pizza babe down there. We're doing at a place called uh, Lift, Lift Off or something like that. I'm murdering the name, I know. Lifton. Yes, I know. Yeah, that Lifton. Hence the sign for Lifton. <laughs> Just know my luck, as I look up what the name is and go past the sign saying where we're at. <laughs> yeah, I need to sort out that sign a little bit to make it a bit more sturdier, but it's a bit awkward how to do it. I look a bit more tinkering. I need to tidy it up a wee bit as well. But it's doing the job. Okay. You kind of have to hold your ground here a wee bit, or as you can. It's nice of them. Get out of here, my. Oh, I've got my side lights on already. But it's been an absolutely awesome drive down. Amazing. As you've probably seen on, on the time lapse, it's been wow. And this is why I like West Country. I don't know if it's my favourite place in the whole of the UK, but it's definitely up there. I mean, the West Country is definitely in the top two or three. I mean, trying what would be my best bit in the country. And I'm sorry about this, it sounds like favouritism. No, there's lots of really nice places in, in our country, you know. We just look at things and you go, actually, we do live in, in a country with a lot of scenic places. Places that are amazing. But I suppose they always say, the place where you live, you don't appreciate them, you know, as much as you do when you go somewhere else. As they always say. Yeah, um... Try to be my number one place. After 400 yards, where I'm half tempted to say west Co or northwest coast of Scotland. And you know, and that's bite my tongue a little bit. Snow down here could be my second. Go straight ahead. But it does change. It moves around quite a bit. I think. I think Casnodonia probably shares the place with the South West, you know. With me, you know, especially on the coastline, the South West can snap it. Then again, <laughs> I'm going to come up with another one now, around St David's in South Wales. Believe it or not, that is an epically stunning place. But there's lots of stunning places in the UK, and, and this is the thing, you can just suddenly think and go, actually, that, that's quite an awesome place. I also love Northumberland. Not in terms of places I would love to move to, realistically, Northumberland could be up there. Not just because it's cheap to get a property there, but I absolutely After love the scenery up there. Lift. But, yeah, the only downside that turns it off at the moment for me is on the job front. 
Certainly. I suppose there is trucking jobs up there, but you know, I'm, I'm not looking to move right now anyway, so I'm not overly looking what the market's doing up there, to be honest. So the last time I looked, you know, house prices were quite reasonable. And, you know, if you compare it to down south, cheap. Decisions, what do we do today? I'm half tempted to go up to Exeter and park at the Moto there, which part of me doesn't want to do. I would love to park here. There's a lay-by just up the way from here. There's about three and a bit hour journey to Swindon from here. If we get to Exeter, that's an hour off. It means two hours to my, and we're in a 15 already. 4.40, yeah, 5 or 6 o'clock now, you know, we're way past saying actually it's 13 hours, we'll stop. We might as well use the 15 now, to be honest, at least get an hour down the road. I was going to try and get a little bit up towards like Taunton, the services up there. I suppose I could go and try the other one. where it's at, the extra. That's actually half tempting the extra one. I'll actually have to pull in here and quickly Google it to see if we can make it there. The moto's okay, but I think it's the moto anyway, extra. It's either the moto or welcome Blake. Can't think which one actually. I think it might be Moto, but don't hold it to me. But it's more of a big brand one. No extra is a big brand, but uh, extra always tends to be not always cheap. Uh, we got signal up here, extra services. Yeah, I didn't have signal down there either. Well, I was trying to make my plan. This thing as a driver, you sometimes get thrown into situations that you have to use your 15 as well. You. Services near me. And it always helps just to Google search. Plumpton, that's it. Uh, EX fifteen. There, search. It's a bit of a risk, Dennis, but it's not a risk really. But I'm not overly impressed that I'm going to have to pay to park. But when you're up on that section, as you go off the M5, you can find places. But I know one nice place, but it means going through a load of roadworks, came towards Barnstable, sort of way, and that's a lick a bit off the track. Question is, can we make make it? Only now a drive time. Let's do a quick print. Oops, do to do that print. You will arrive at your destination at 19:05. Mate, it's durable. But I'll go off on the feeling where going to nine hour. Ten hour drive potentially by looking at that warning. Which we can do. We are permitted to do it. We just want to double check a few things before I commit. And this is sometimes what you got to do as a driver. So we last have a break.
Sim 30. We got to 730. Yeah, try six minutes. Urgh. How much drive time have we done today? Yeah, it's up to nine hours. Urgh. How long does our six hours cut out at? Yeah, we're still good. Yeah, we do ten hours. We get up there. I'm sorry about this. But it shows a bit of planning that you have to do and just to work out actually can I do that? Is that actually feasible? Because this would be quite a good lay-by to stay the night in Ike. But we're three hours away from Swindon and that will not have a massive knock knock on effect onto tomorrow if we can't at least break a lick of it in the camel's back. These people Okay. Obviously suddenly it wasn't being observant. Yeah, a car moved out of my way to let me out, flash me out. Then the car that was in lane two decided to come over. In, uh, not there right away, overall, but, but it's miles off. She realised what was happening and went back in. But. <laughs> yeah, you see some funny stuff. Which, yes, can turn out to be dangerous stuff. So we're going to have to finish with about 15 minutes of drive time left. Give or take. And we got until 7.25, for argument's sake. So we're going to finish with about 10 minutes of work time. We shouldn't too bad, we're about 10 minutes shy from our working time because it would have been 7.40 but I realised my bike was a bit earlier today and we have to, we've got 6 hours before we have to have a 30 minute break effectively. But, you know, we're going to get there with a reasonable amount of time. Sorry that I had to drag you into a bit of planning there. I might edit a little bit out here and there while I was like, oh. <laughs> thinking through what I was doing. I think this is going to be a bit, bit of a long vlog, but it gives you a bit of a taste of what it is actually like during the day, you know, ups and downs. It's been a pretty good day to be honest, you know. Bit of a time on, we got the delivery in, our second delivery in. So we have achieved quite a bit today, really. You know, we've done the collection at around uh, Newmarket's all the way, for argument's sake. You know, 
on the east side, very far east, near Kings Lynn, shall I say, quite more near Kings Lynn. Crossed Avon's mouth, tipped off Avon's mouth, then over to Port Dog, loaded at Port Dog, down here. You know, this this wasn't a quick journey, it was over two hours to get down from Portbury down to here. Yes, yeah, so we're going all the way back up towards Bristol, down the M4 to Swindon and up to where we're going at Swindon. Then we're collecting there tomorrow to go down to Wimble. It should be a nice enough drive. Well, it should be a pretty reasonable drive to a lot of it motorways down and it should be quite in and out. Not in and out but quick. Yeah, so I mean I've been drawing some plans up to do with my motorbike this year route in. So I want to go to Land's End on that this year. I've been meaning to do it for on the weekend for a little while now to be honest. So I meant to do it last year and just dig it around to dig it, especially after doing Scotland trials. I have to do John O'Groats, Road, so I want to go do Land's End now. So I can say I've taken my bike to John O'Groats and to Land's End. The only issue, and this leads to the other issue, if I get a new bike, in theory I've got to do the same again. But I don't mind if I have to, because it's such an epic trip up to Scotland, you know. It, I might have to do that just to bend the bike in, effectively. Get used, use that as a decent trip to get used to it. Or do something as epic, but a bit different. Lots of possibilities, but nevertheless, I want to get to Land's End this year. I would like to go along the coast as well to do it. So I might go and do some research. Boy, do that this coming weekend as well. Do a bit of research on that route. Is it be the weekend after? I might. Even though I think that is over east to leave, so. I could always postpone it to miss it because it will be busy. Yeah. In some ways, it is nice when it's busy, but it also can be awkward on the roads. You know, it's also getting in somewhere. Or camping might be okay, but I've seen the weather to do. Yeah, so lots of possibilities that we could be doing, or that I'll be doing, shall I say. And look at this this countryside, it's amazing. Yeah, it's those hills there. I mean they're not as big as the hills up north and that, but they're still big. They're big for down here. They're not as big as Snowdonia or anything like that, so obviously you take the bike up to Snowdonia sometime as well. But we'll see. And this is one of the great things of trucking is that you can just you know, end up in places like this and just blows your, you know, blows, blows your mind in a way like wow. You know, how many people's offices take them by this type of country like yes, we can go some really you know questionable places as well, won't be a bit, it's not all gravy, but when it's like this you've got to appreciate it. And look at that old truck on top of that bridge. The weather's far as popped and yeah, this is broken down on the bridge. Who knows? Or using it as a mobile gate. <laughs> it's like a death or something like that, or uh, something of that sort of nature. Or, or the old army. Not death, so. Not Foden, I don't think. It could be deaf. It's the old army truck that sometimes based on. Brings up to a farm, mate. That is a bike today. But you know, it is amazing because I keep on saying, you know, when you drive along roads like this, you decide this is why I truck, this is why I drive a truck, this is for the reasons. I, I want to be a driver it's because you know it's not just a job it's a lifestyle and the lifestyle takes you past a place like this and yes you can't stop and do the tourist thing 
you can't just stop at every lane. Well, you could do if you want to do, but I don't think your boss would be too amused if you were doing this. But I mean, if you really were, you could stop at a lay-by to get a really nice moto. You could do. Actually, I might, I might just have enough time to do that, possibly, if we find a nice lay-by with a nice backdrop view to it. Which was actually a lay-by sign just here. So that can be a nice combat indicator to take a picture. <laughs> a good excuse to go and take a picture. It's not that one. I'm fully really feeling this one's not so exciting, but oh well, we'll give it a go. There is a van in it, but oh well. <laughs> the van might have to go in the photo. Actually, it's quite a nice one, actually. And we go behind the van. Yeah, we go behind the van, so we'll try not to put the van into the picture. Oh, the van's going! The van's going! And we'll just stop here for a moment. I'm going to stop the video here, but nevertheless, I'm going to quickly take a photo while we're in here. And get on the way up to the services, park up for the night, jobs are good in. But nevertheless, thank you very much for watching. It is seriously very much appreciated. To all the new viewers, yeah, again, thank you very much. It is seriously mu very much appreciated. Drop any comments down below, reference to like, uh, if you haven't seen the, the bike vlogging at all in the future. It won't become, well, I never know, but... I don't aim for it to become a main part of my channel, but I would like to involve you into maybe more of my other hobbies, maybe, a little bit. Just to experiment a little bit with that as well, because I have a bit more probably freedom of what I can film doing that as well, but I can only do that at certain times, so... You know, we'll have to see how that would go and work. So it's not a guarantee, but if you're interested, comment down below. If you're a biker, you know, say what... ask any questions and you know, in, in related. But as far as that, thank you very much for watching. I will catch you when I catch you. Over and out.